Okay. I was in the middle of thinking about this, which I actually don't think I can do. I don't think I can use genetics that way. Expecting this but encountered that. Well, I can do that bit anyway. solve that one. Uh, let's see, local... Now I'm just doing this bit just now because... Uh, new node list. I mean if I can do this type of notation here then this is how it will be. Just, uh, just really don't think I can. Type T not found. Yeah, yeah. This is for like class declarations. Hmm. It wants an actual class. Can I just say object? Or is that just me being too much of a slime ball? Making one and returning it. Maybe I forgot that. Oh, this poor editor. Yeah. Is that really its problem? Oh, I've got a... Do I? Help. Ugh. Now, what on earth? Let me just see if I can get this syntax to work here. Uh, local C G card. Okay, right. Well, interesting. Hmm. Get node by index. Okay, well. current node uh, list object ah, no I won't do that I'll say local current node list object node equals L first node This is a sensible way to do it. J plus equals one. Okay, so actually I can say this equals L first node. Why is it that I've never thought through or remembered more likely this logic? So new node is the first node. I don't need CN at all. I just say CNN equals N successor. 
So new node. List object node is the first node of whatever list you gave it. So I'll do some checking here. If uh, not L return. If i is less than 0 or i is greater than l count greater than or equal to l count return. If this works, I'll be really chuffed. Um, because I don't want to change more monkey source, I actually have already changed the canvas object in a little way, a little and kind of daft way, which I should undo. But I don't want to make any other changes because, in theory, you know, I'm happy to release this nightmare source code with a health warning. Uh, but I don't want to have to release a big chunk of monkey code as well, even though the monkey code is open source. Uh, I don't know exactly how to do it, and finding out uh, is a thing I am too, like, you know, just lazy. Now, let's say that I have made that work. Get node by index, pass a link and an index, and you get back a node. Do I even need this? Can I actually just take it out? What happens if I say this? Oops. Oh yeah, no, that's right. What happens if I just say list? Actually, I'll bet it doesn't like it at all. Yeah, there's no such thing as a, as a list. Yeah. Okay. Well. I'll take my chances. Right. So what on earth was I trying to do anyway? Insert a row. This is the number of columns. In the case of one column, uh, number of columns, no, I've got the number of colors. In the case of one color, for CG equals each in gradient. Right, what I'm looking for is to use my get node by index. And I want to think for a second because the way that I insert these is maybe different. And I see. This was a foolish mistake to make. Oh. Right, that's if there's zero. Yeah, here I can't just add the color. This is if there's only one color already. So I'm not really trying to find a new color in a gradient. What I'm trying to do is just add a new color either above or below the only other color. So in this case, I know that uh, the... Oh, excuse me, let me look this up. Insert color after in the circle four. Uh, I know that I kind of think I just have to say if before flag else Because here I want to put it before color zero, but right, this is where I get. Uh, okay, I think out here actually. Local color node node g color no list node g color node. Why do I 
feel like I've got that wrong. It's new uh, list. No, sorry. Uh, okay, right, I can't. I see why I do this. I see why this is a problem. Do I? Well, cast list. No, 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 no. I don't like this at all. In fact, I'm going to save this. And I have a feeling it's going to go insane. The, uh, the output of get node by index of current gradient colors comma i uh, no i'm not surprised mate I have a funny feeling this is an absolute out of the question thing to do. Unless it's going to do some cast, I just don't think. Look at it. No, it's just not taking it. It wants an object. Can't f with argument types. What? Oh, is it talking about the. back here. What are you talking about? Get no by index. List integer. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't have one for colors. And I can't cast like that, can I? Cast. List. I know I can't. G color. Maybe I made a mistake before. No, no, no. Oh, well, actually, should it be like that? I just don't, I have a feeling that is going to make it crash. I have a feeling I read this before, that if you do that, no, it wouldn't be that anyway, would it? Would it? It would be this, it would be this. <sighs> uh, okay. This is why I don't think I can do get node by index. And why I think actually I am just going to uh, bite the bullet. And I will accept that this is a fantasy. And I will go in here. Find node. Let's see. Find get node by. I don't think I wrote that other one right anyway. Anyway, node uh, i int. Okay, I like the style here, obviously. Look at these lovely little. Although I will put in all my things, j int equals zero, while I did write that thing totally wrong. It's just I wrote it like an idiot. What on earth am I doing here? Well, i is less than j and node and I can use the internal suck j plus equals one return node okay am I getting that right now 
because uh, I got it totally wrong in the other one, didn't I? Local node equals head suck. So it's getting the first. Yeah, it's getting the first. Um, sorry, the first node. If i is zero, then. So and this will just loop around. So if you ask for something larger, uh, you might get the head node. I think I'm just going to have to expect people to be careful. Yeah. So you might find yourself, if you misuse this, having a null value. I think that's what happens, a null value to turn by the head node, because the head node has no... Well, OK, that's it. Get node by index method added returns a node. To, I mean, it is much nicer to have like that. So, I'm going through each gradient and saying, <laughs> I don't even need it in this case, because it's a uh, current gradient colors first node. I'll need it in the next case anyway. Okay, so I've got that node, and I need a local new node list. I really hope this works, actually. There's maybe some reason it won't. Node equals new no uh, list g color node of value. Uh, the same color as the other one, which is G C. No, it's a uh, C N value. Uh, no, it's not. It's uh, G color. Is not a thing I have for, for G color. Okay. Where on earth is the new? New into string. Right. What did I call it? Where? And how did I do it? New from. And you just pass another instance. Method new from no not a method a function new from g color uh, source g color equals null and if uh, s equals null uh, yeah if s equals null s equals better way equals g color white because now I will copy it anyway for goodness sake local color g color equals a new g color Source red, source green, source blue, and source alpha. Source alpha. Okay, plugging our way through this. It's already 20 minutes in, and I'm barely any anything actually done. If s equals null, s equals uh, okay, fair enough. G color white, uh, and that's it. So it's a brand new color, copied from the current. And then it's here where I say um, new node ins 
out before. Can't remember. Am I right about that? Pretty sure I am. We'll soon find out. New node. Insert after. Yeah, look, there it is. I'm doing it up there. Current node. Okay. If there's only one, now what? Tell me, tell me. Okay, you from just CN value. And it's here that I wanted the G color. Okay, think for a moment. I understand three quarters of my CPU is committed to recording this. Uh, okay. And then there's the default. Where I do want one of three things to happen, which is if it's at the end or at the beginning, I want it added to the end of the beginning, but I just want it to copy the end of the beginning. I'm not interested in extrapolating what the curves might be beyond the ends. So, did I, can I remember what I did up here? Build in special, no, it wasn't up here, was it? It was in get gradient. What was the thing I did? Yeah, it's not so simple here. Insert row. So again, could I say select uh, N C? This makes sense. I should, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, select I. And here, if uh, it's zero, then I do something. And if it is num colors minus one, I do something else. And by default, I do something else. But there's something else I want to think. I. Did I? I did G limitant. say at i equals g limit int i comma zero comma num colors minus one you have a problem with this sir thank you okay so it could be one of those or in between and in this case Ah, uh, right, okay. Now I'm thinking about it again because, of course, uh, by conflating the insert rows to insert for and insert after, I give myself a bit of a problem here because I need to be inserting it before row zero for this to be significant. And after the last for it to be significant. So I will have a little think because maybe it's possible to build it without making the special cases. I think it will actually be tricky though. Because with the final index passed, if the final index is passed, yeah, for example, if you're inserting it before the final index, then you are a... what are you getting? Then you're getting a, 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 a point on the gradients between the final and the penultimate color at the top. Oh me, I'm having difficulty concentrating on it. So it's such a different situation, basically. What I want to think is where do I want to be reading 
the uh, where do I want to be reading the color values for the new row from? That's the thing here. If it's zero, then uh, it's like mm, if it's zero and if and if insert before and if before flag is true okay this is not the right logic for it uh, let's just before I go any further with that think about something different if uh, i equals zero and before flag equals true do something else do something else I don't much like these double nested if statements dealing with the beginning and end and middle of something but maybe it's just the way it is if i equals nc minus 1 and before flag equals false this should be true <laughs> true actually you know something now that I think about this, this doesn't make sense. This is too stupid and complicated. What I all I do is I find the value ahead of the index. Then I find out if the before flag is true and I subtract it and then I clamp it to z from to be between 0 and 1 so yeah yeah so I'm looking for local v float okay I've got a few more minutes I'm not going to get to the point of running it just now I will have to cook soon but let me see v float it's another one of these ones where it equals I need the size of the step and the size of the step is 1.0 divided by the float of the number of colors minus one was it? can't remember which way around that goes every time yeah it's minus one that's the number of that's the number of sort of segments there is between each color in the gradient. It's, so that's the size of the step times i. Uh, I don't, I know I don't need a bracket there, excuse me. Plus 0.5 Plus 0.5. Uh, yeah, now let me just totally get rid of all this because I think none of it makes any sense. NC minus 1. Yeah, the number of colors minus 1, yeah. Times i plus 0 0.5. Then if uh, before flag true v minus 1.0 minus equals 1.0 and then i equals g flo uh, limit float i comma 0, 0, 0, 0, 1.0 I think that's actually that's just called a limit Ah, don't tell me I did call it limit float. No, I just had to give my poor little computer some time. So, I think that that's it. No, not I. I think that that's it in terms of finding the value that I need to 
used to generate the new set of colors and the new set of colors is as uh, long as there are gradients do I need a gradient count local as well why not local num gradients do I have any new gradients nope local, local num gradients uh, So now I need to go through each gradient and insert before or after a color based on the value of the gradient at position V. So actually I don't think I do need that NG I spoke too soon. Current gradient. I've got no I've already how wise am I? For current gradient equals each in gradients. How wise am I? The evidence is before you. Um, right. Here I will say local current color. Can I do that? Local current color g color equals new g color. Current color. I uh, don't need that really, do I? <sighs> I need a new node. I always forget. New node. I should do this one before as well, because it's going to happen. Current node. Excuse me. Let me think for a sec. Is this where I need the get by index? It is. It's current node list g color. inside this list. <laughs> I'm doing this right here. First node. I will just do this. Current node list g color node equals null. This is a handle which I will point at the first node as is new node list g color node equals null also will be pointed at a new node each time and every time a new node is assigned to it the old one will be forgotten which is what I want just want to say nothing right here really do I want to say it in here C node equals current gradient gradient colors come on now is it uh, did I say get no get no by index get no by index 
I. Uh, is that quite correct? Yeah. And new node equals new list G color. Probably should have put this just get green value comma current gradient comma current gradient get blue value comma current gradient get alpha value open 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 close open close open close 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 yeah so if before flag I feel like I'll never get used to the way you've got to use linked lists it's not that complicated really and they're lovely but oh don't tell me you don't like this yeah I don't blame you If before flag new node insert before in CN should have made that something different, but doesn't matter. Insert There is one more thing, which is uh, man. The one more thing is that getting the top of the color is a bit of a pain. Again, it's probably because of me being I don't know what, but anyway, these things basically call splines. Let me check a gradient as get red that says yeah red spline value so what I might do is something that will be like this method set to top which is terrible but out g color equals null Then I say out set end. and I set it to red spline value one comma oops red spline value one comma green spline. Now, in theory, I think I have had this work. In fact, maybe even in this code, if I remember right. This will correct a problem. Red, green, blue, alpha. So it just sets it to the top of the spline. So, when I say gradient set insert row here, I do make another little check. I say if v equals 1.0. Uh, okay, right, this is. Hang on a sec. I'm 
Okay, yeah, I will use this C color. I'll say C color set to be this. Then I say if equals one, C, C, C color set Oh no, I don't do it that way around because of my craziness. I say current gradient set to top <laughs> current color. Then I say this equals from current color. So now it finds the current the, this is CN for current node but it's just like the target node by getting node by index which I hope works. It sets the current color to be the correct red, green, blue and alpha value based on the position within the gradient we're currently considering. Current gradient red, current gradient green, current gradient, etc. It says if the value is actually the top, then do a special thing. Then it creates a new node with the value of current color, or a new color created from current color. Then if the before flag is true, it does this, and if it's after, it inserts after. And that is the end of my fairy story. And if it's true, I don't need those. And I don't need that. And I don't need all this stupid gibberish. In this case, I insert it with an index. And do I do some palaver here? Basically, this is it, isn't it? This is the find by index, which is it? I N list gradient nodes first node yeah where else do I use I N must be in yeah right okay there insert after in hmm. I'm not going to change it just now because this is two different methods of doing it. Boy oh boy, it's another nasty looking thing. But right. Now, hold your breath guys, because I'm not going to run it yet. Guys, my, my fan myself. Uh, I'm not going to run it yet. I'm going to pause for a moment. I'm going to make some dinner. I'm going to all look over this and I'm going to find where I need to connect the gadgets to make it actually work. <laughs>